is Anna. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos here talking all about relationships and shadow work and emotional regulation and so, so much more. And for this video, we're going to talk about the fear of rejection because this is a huge, huge fear that I held onto for my whole childhood, especially in school years because I just would kind of keep so quiet and I came across as really shy and stuff, but it actually wasn't. I just felt so uncomfortable and crippled by fear. So I would keep as quiet as possible and like not speak to many people because I just wanted to avoid rejection, you know, and avoid humiliation. And I think this is something that so many people struggle with because we want to be liked by everyone. We want to be accepted. We want to belong. And oftentimes that is just not possible and throughout the years as I've grown older I've kind of realized that actually authenticity is so much more important than rejection like when you really think about it you're trying to avoid rejection but that means that you then have to people please a lot because you're never going to be able to please everybody you're going to have to cater to them and what they need and being authentic you can't do that, you know? So I'm just realizing how important authenticity is, but also in terms of your soul mission and in terms of what you're here to do and what you're passionate about and stuff like that, you know? That actually, will you um like a video, a little clip of that? Cause that will be sick to show behind the scenes. I'll have to blur out her face, but yeah. <laughs> my mum just took a picture because I've got my daughter right next to me and I'm sitting in the garden and I just thought oh my god that'd be sick to get a little video clip of it because it will show the behind the scenes trying to film a video with a baby <laughs> I was originally feeding her and hence the milk stains on me but now she stopped feeding so I've just sat her in a little bouncer next to me <laughs> so I thought yeah that's cool <laughs> that would be cool to get a little clip for behind the scenes, thank you. <laughs> anyway, I forgot what I was even saying. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> so fear of rejection. Yeah, in terms of your soul mission and stuff, when you really think about what you're passionate about and what it is that you're doing here, like why you incarnated, the, not just to make money, but the things that bring you joy, like joy is the most important. And when you really think about what brings you joy, oftentimes there's gonna be people that don't agree with that, you know? There's gonna be people that don't enjoy the same things as you or that find whatever you do boring. But when you really look at authenticity and you look at your joy, if you were to stop doing those things just to avoid rejection, then that means you're not going to be authentic and you're going to feel suffocated and stifled. And I spent so many years doing that, especially with music and wanting to film YouTube videos and stuff. Back when I first wanted to do it was when YouTube first came about and I didn't do it <laughs> because I was so terrified and so scared of what people would think and I didn't know myself very well so I didn't know what kind of videos I wanted to film in the first place so I just didn't bother doing it because I was so scared that people would judge me like it was a new thing people were just starting to blow up on it and stuff and yeah I didn't want to be like the odd one out you know so I just didn't do it and fast forward another what 10 15 years later and here I am doing it every week do you know what I mean and it's like a normal thing for me now and in fact even just now I'm only just starting to get comfortable doing it in front of people and having people around me because my partner lives with me and we've got a baby and stuff so obviously he's gonna witness it in that so it's taken me a long time to get to this point of like having people around me and me sit there and be authentic and do what I do. I've started vlogging with family, getting in the vlogs and that. And before I never ever would have done that, I wouldn't even tell them that I filmed YouTube videos, you know, <laughs> like I used to keep it all to myself. So it takes progress and like it takes time to progress to that, you know, but at the end of the day, I feel like the reason I'm able to do it in front of them now is because authenticity feels more important to me than their approval and than fear of rejection. You know, like I still fear their rejection a little bit because it's absolutely terrifying to do something that's vulnerable in front of people. But at the end of the day, like, 
me being able to be authentic and follow my path and what I'm passionate about and what means something to me is so much more important than having other people be on board. And when you really think about it, the only people that are ever going to reject you are people that aren't in alignment with that specific thing, you know? You're not going to have everything in common with every person. And this is why I always say that people have a specific role and position in your life because there's going to be one person that resonates with music with me but they don't resonate with the way I parent or maybe they don't resonate with the food I eat or something like that you know but like so they're not going to fit into every single role in my life they're not going to fulfill every single need because we're completely different people but they can have a position in my life where we can chat about the things that we actually are in alignment with, you know? And it's just really important for you to be authentic so that you can figure out the positions that people deserve to be in and are able to be in, you know, and the needs that they're able to meet. And this truly is where compatibility comes in because so many times that we pick people that are completely incompatible or that are only compatible in one area as I've said in a previous video and then we want them to fulfill every single need and they can't do that because they're not compatible in all of those ways and they're not able to do all of that you know like we are human and we're only able to give so much so just being authentic so that you can figure out what's in alignment with you and what isn't because you're never going to know if you're not actually being yourself you know and your song vision and I always also feel like your song mission is just being yourself it's not necessarily like making a million pounds and you know building a multi-million pound business and all of that it's just simply being yourself and doing the things that bring you joy following your path and everything that you love creating your family and yeah just having fun along the way creating your version of heaven on earth and not other people's version of it and yeah what better way to do that than to actually be authentic and to stand true in who you are and then anybody that rejects you is not in alignment anyway so who the fuck cares do you know what i mean who cares what they have to say because they're not actually in alignment with your truth and your truth is the only thing that matters your heart your authenticity that is what matters and everybody that doesn't resonate with that can kind of sit on the sidelines they can watch if they want to but they don't get a say in what you do you know and even people that are in alignment don't get a say in what you do but you can go to them for advice and like to discuss things you know but ultimately the final decision comes down to your intuition and what you want and what you need and what's best for you so just remember to be who you are because that is what you're here to do and to be oh my baby okay 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 yeah i think she's had enough of me filming come here my baby oh okay so i'm gonna go <laughs> and try and feed this little monster, my little milk monster again. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely check out the description box below for everything about me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, Papa. Tell me how you move me forward. Move me forward. Tell them that you're all my mind.